Hey, this is Lisa from CoochieCoochieCoo.com. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a vampire cape for Halloween with a rigid collar from just regular black fabric. What you'll need is a whole bunch of black fabric. We're going to use a circle pattern, so you'll need a lot of fabric. To help you, I suggest using my free circle skirt template. You can download this from my website. Um, whether you use it or not, you also need a flexible tape measure, something to mark the black fabric, use some white chalk, you can either use this classic type or you can use a powdered chalk roller, which is what I usually prefer. You'll need, obviously, some fabric scissors. For the rigid collar, you will need some heavyweight iron-on interfacing. Then, of course, some pins. I'm using ballpoint pins because my fabric is a stretch fabric. Some black thread, and then a sewing machine, sewing needles. Let's get started. First, let's take some measurements. We need to measure around the neck of the person. Um, in my case, the measurement was 40 centimeters, which we're going to make a little bit bigger to 45 centimeters to make space for the rigid collar. Then consider how long it's going to be. You can make your cape longer or shorter. I want it to go to around the knees of my son. So in this case, the um, distance from the neck, the collar, to the bottom was 85 centimeters. Okay, now we need to figure out the how to cut your fabric. So let's start with the neck. Um, 45 centimeters is the circumference. We need to find out the radius. So a simple way to do it is to simply divide by six, which in our case is 7.5 centimeters. Okay, so this will be, let's do a picture of our fabric. Now let's imagine you are folding it like this, okay? 7.5 is what we are going to measure here. 7.5. We're going to measure in both directions and draw an arch like that. Now, we need to figure out how long to cut the other arch. So, let's take, what we need to do is we need to add 85 from this point here, but it's easier to measure it from the center point. So let's add 85 to 7.5. Okay. And we also have some seam allowance. So let's add another centimeter to that. This is seam allowance. So in all, it's 93.5 centimeters. Let's make it easier on ourselves. Instead of doing 93.5, we're just going to do 95 centimeters. Okay. Now, let's imagine here, we're going to do 95 centimeters from here. Again, you would measure it on both ends, and this ends up being like this. So when we cut our fabric, we're going to fold it in half like this, and we're going to take our measurements. This is for the neck, this is the radius of the neck, and this here is for the length. First, lay out your fabric like this with the fold on this end and the selvages at the top. I've pinned them just to help keep them together. Make sure you have enough for your length. Remember, we're doing 95 centimeters. So put the zero over here and go all the way over here. It has to be at least 95. Okay, if you are using the circle skirt template, just to help you lay things out, put it here, line up this left end on the fold here we need a one centimeter seam allowance so we can sew it together, so leave that space there. If you want to just keep it in place a little bit better, you can pin it in place, like this. Okay, now let's first do the neckline. Remember, we said 45 centimeters would be 7.5 centimeter radius. So put the zero at the corner, and 7.5 is here, mark it with your chalk. Then move your tape measure around and keep marking it all around, 7.5. And then just connect the dots to make a little arc like this. You can see, there it is. Now, 
let's do the bottom. It's 95 centimeters from the top. Again, put the zero in the corner here and go all the way over 95 and mark it. Okay, go like this, about 45 degrees. I put that mark there to help me on the template. Okay, again, 95, it's off the camera here, but it's there, I promise. Okay, and again over here on the left, zero at the top, down at the bottom, 95 centimeters. Okay, just continue going like this all the way around, marking 95, 95, 95, mark it. Okay, again over here, make sure that the zero is always at the corner there. And keep marking 95, 95. Then when you're done making those marks, again, just join them all together with your chalk. Um, whoops, this is a little bit crooked, but we'll fix that later. When you're done making your two lines, just cut out along the bottom here and also on your neckline. Then fold your fabric in half again and make another semicircle. Take your heavyweight interfacing and fold it down so that there's about 20 centimeters more or less here. Make sure that the paper side is up, the sticky sides are facing. Then fold it again so that you have, again, another 20 centimeters, more or less, like this. And this way you have four layers. One, two, and then another three, four here. Okay, now let's put our cape right up against here. Okay, here it is here. And let's trace around like this. This is going to be the neck opening. Okay. Now, we want um, our collar to be about five centimeters high. So, so, let's make sure this is actually flat the way it should be. Now, so we're going to measure from here five centimeters plus one more centimeter for the seam allowance. So, keeping the zero here at the line, we're going to measure out six centimeters. Okay, here, let's do six centimeters. It's going here in the middle, six centimeters. And like we did before, we're going to match the lines up like that. So let's continue like this. Perfect. Okay, let's cut across. Now let's remove our pins if you put them in. And we're going to make, we're gonna open it up like this. Now, we don't want the collar to go straight up in front of the face. We want it to go a little bit off to the side. So let's first consider our one centimeter seam allowance. So let's mark one centimeter in here. Then we want to make an angle cut like this, more or less a 45 degree angle. We'll just kind of eyeball it more or less. Okay, that looks about right. So let's cut that and cut in this little space as well. That way we have our collar piece. To make our collar extra rigid, we're going to do another layer of this. So with your collar, fold it in half still, line it up against the fold again. Take your pen and trace right along here. And again, cut it out. Now that we've got our two collar pieces that are exactly the same, we're going to iron each one down onto the black fabric, sticky side down. Okay, now that we've got our interfacing ironed onto the wrong side of our black fabric. Remember the sticky part was down, so now it's stuck onto here. Now we're going to cut it out. We're going to cut right along the edge, the inside curved edge. And around the outside edge, we're going to leave about a one centimeter seam allowance, more or less. So from this, we go to this. When you've got both of your pieces cut out, Let's pin them together, right sides facing. Put one on top of the other. We're going to match up this inner circle here. And 
these points here. Make sure that it more or less um, is the same around all the edges where the two bits of interfacing meet up. Then pin them together. When you've done, we're going to sew along these outer edges, along here, all the way around, and back down here. We're going to sew right along the edge of the interfacing. Do not sew around the center. So now we have sewn across these little edges here, which are the seam allowance, across here, all around the circle, back down, and down this little seam allowance. I sewed with black thread, so you can't really see it, but I sewed very close to the edge of the interfacing. I tried not to sew into the interfacing, although I did here, for example, in a couple of other places, but I tried not to. Now we're going to turn it so that we have the right side of the fabric out and the interfacing is on the inside. But first, we need to clip some of these corners. We have the whole round area here, which we're going to need to clip into. So, let's make a whole bunch of little notches like this, going all the way around. Oops, I didn't cut all the way here. Okay, so we're going to clip, like you can see here, little notches going all the way around the curved edge. Now that we have notched all the way around the curved edges, it's time to flip this right side out. So, through the center here, we just need to turn it right side out. Use something blunt and pointed, let's say your scissors, and kind of push out these, these parts here so that they have a nice crisp edge. Okay, now that it's turned right side out, let's press this flat and then top stitch around all the edges and stay stitch very, very close to this inner edge here. Now we've got our two cape pieces. They're exactly the same with the open ends here and the folds over here. I have a lot of pins in mind just to help keep the fabric together while I was cutting it out. Now, let's take out the pins. Now, we're going to put open up our pieces and we're going to put two of the sides together, right sides facing. Line up the edges and pin them together. Once you've got all the pins in, sew a straight line down this edge with a one centimeter seam allowance. If your fabric frays, then make sure you also do a zigzag or an overlock stitch along the edge. Next, let's take our cape that we have sewn together. Here is the center seam. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. Now, let's take our collar and we're going to match it up the best we can here. Let's fold it in half. So let's take the collar, fold it in half, and this here is the center. Let's stick a pin inside here just to remember that that is the center. This part can go right here along this, um, the stitching that we did before. So just pin that together. Remember, we're pinning the stiff collar onto the right side of the fabric. And then just continue pinning along the edges. And here we have it. It's pinned all around the edges. Now notice here, there's a little bit of fabric sticking out over the edge. That's fine because we're going to be folding this in anyway to make a little hem. Now, go back to your sewing machine and sew with a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around. Once you've sewn the collar on to the rest of the cloak, you want to flip it so that it's up like this and you're going to, with the um, seam allowances pointing downwards towards the cape, you're going to Sew a nice line of top stitching around to hold the seam allowance down. Don't forget we've got these raw edges here. So the two edges here, we're going to just fold over and sew 
straight down to hold the fold over. Same thing on the bottom. We're going to just quickly fold over the edges and sew them in place. Now this is a little bit on the big side here, which yours is going to be. If you want it to stick up the way it's supposed to instead of just flopping down, we're going to need to overlap these two pieces here. Here we have our snap with a button sewed on top just to cover up the stitching and to make it look a little more fancy. Now put on the cape and see how much fun it is to swing around like a vampire or a witch or a warlock.